What's up people of the internet? I'm the big pod here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the silver mode architecture and part of the Bayer family of power efficient processors. It has two cores with no hyper threading of course and it has a burst frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have four unified shaders and a burst frequency of up to 792 megahertz in the Celeron's case. It's also based on the same Ivy Bridge architecture as the Intel HD 4000, weirdly enough. We also have 4 GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500 GB hard drive for the operating system and also on which the game that we will be playing today is installed. As for operating system, we are using normal Windows 10, optimized with the ultimate Windows Utility 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we will be benchmarking today is... <laughs> oh my god... Apex Legends! As you guessed at the beginning of the video... <laughs> yeah, as if the Valorant Saga wasn't enough, there's that fellow Bulgarian fan who is determined to make me murder this Celeron with goddamn Apex Legends. So the Vaku Celeron and Grandizer the Apex are this channel so should go on star, boy track. So let's get straight to the point now. Still, in order to reduce the chance of an explosion happening, after doing a bit of research, I made a beautiful low-end config, which I will provide in the pinned comments down below. Also, you can't run the game at a lower resolution than 800 by 600 you get an error claiming that the resolution is below 768 by 480 aren't supported, so that's even better. Also, I will run our memory duct up to make sure Apex can use as much RAM as its enhanced Source Engine version wants. Guys, you don't wanna know how much I hate this compiling shaders thing. Like, almost every single recent game has this. Why do we have to wait 10 minutes for this shit to complete? Can't we just get to the main menu set without to wait for this uh, thing to complete? It's, it's testing our patience, you know? Why did game developers even bother inventing that? So yeah. Fuck you, shader compiling. Much, much, much later. Okay, so we're finally at the main menu, but I swear, I, I had to wait like an extremely long time for for the main menu to appear. Like I read a whole chapter of a book during that time. And it once again, it falls once again. Let's wait a little bit. Maybe something will happen. Oh, now. Our character has appeared, this uh, beautiful lady right there, but <laughs> 2 FPS. And what the hell, it froze once again. I swear, this game is probably killing the Celeron right now. I'm literally... This is like an insane form of torture for the Celeron. Um, hello. Dear Apex, are you going to respond? Hmm. You know what, let's press control plus alt plus delete. Because I really wonder what the hell ha happened. And why is this game not responding? White screen. Oh no. Oh no, the game. Well, guys, the Celeron has spoken. I mean, 
I'm not really surprised considering that Valorant was giving us that uh, one minus one error. Honestly, I'm surprised I was still unable to turn all tape at this point. <laughs> you know what? In fact, I'm surprised that we managed to get this far, but uh, yeah. I mean, considering that the guy who was uh, requesting this game multiple times literally said that the game was running at 3 FPS for him, and I assume that he tested it a long time ago, well... Yeah, I knew it was pointless to even bother trying to run Apex Legends on this hardware, considering that Valorant also doesn't work, and that CSGO only gives 15 FPS, but since Stanislav the overestimator insisted on me attempting to run it anyway, with the probable hit the intention of killing my seller on laptop once and for all, I ended up doing it against my desires. So to was Stani Suave, ako namerenje tu ti naistina beše da ubiješ selerončtu, dogava ti se povali brat, zašto to selerončtu se ošte raboci, hihihihi. Anyway, you might have failed to get Apex Legends to run, but I know a way to play the game on any potato PC at 60 FPS. Yes, if you followed my channel for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about cloud gaming, but this time things are a bit different. Unlike with Valorant, which doesn't support any streaming service except for that paid Croatian cluster one, Apex Legends actually supports GeForce now, yes! We can actually play the game for free, let's go! Yeah, unless you want to give Nvidia $10 a month, you have to wait as much as your one hour session, or even more actually. One eternity later. See guys, I told you, it's been more than an hour and there are still 49 pieces of trash before me. Ah. <sighs> much, much later. So after waiting more than two fucking hours, seriously, there's no excuse for this. What the hell, Nvidia? Why are you being so greedy too? We're finally in the game. Look at that. The seller on N2840 is actually running Apex Legends here. By the way, this is my first time playing this game actually. I had a gaming laptop with an i7-7700HQ and GTX 1050, but I've never been interested in Apex Legends before. No problems. Let's go training. Oh yeah, guys. I'm playing Apex on a potato PC. Who said that you can't play anything on a slow PC? It does look a bit choppy, but uh, that's actually because I'm recording from Bandicam. I'm using a cracked version of Bandicam, by the way. Hehe. <laughs> In reality, the game is running at constant 60 FPS at 720p. Here's a small recording from my phone as a proof, and no, this isn't a gaming laptop. Looks a bit blurry, admittedly, given that this is streamed from one of Nvidia's gaming servers, but uh, we don't cry about visuals on this channel, okay? So in fact, it is possible to play and enjoy Apex Legends on your absolutely terrible PC, just not in the conventional way. Also, you might have to trick GeForce Now settings if you have a slow internet connection and you might need to use a VPN if you live in Southeast Asia or something like that. I might call the cloud gaming top topic in a video of its own, maybe for the 500 subscriber special. I have a lot of plans in my mind guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video once again, but uh, please don't make me test another super heavy game for the next time please, cause I want to take a break. I swear, I bet someone will unironically request Warzone 2.0 or Cyberpunk, Jesus Christ! Anyway, I'm leaving you with some more recorded gameplay from GeForce now, and until the next one, it's a bye-bye from me!